All right, February the 21st, 2015. This has been the worst winter in all the years, 30 some years I've been here. Uh, my ponds, only this is the second time my pond's been in this condition because of winter weather. But uh, virtually everything, that's ice, even though yesterday it was white because it was covered with snow. But the, it's still, it's still almost an inch of ice in places. Uh, I have managed to keep things running so that there is openings with uh, airflow. The water temperature when I checked it this morning was 31 degrees. Uh, you see little formations of ice everywhere. Uh, I mean, this is the worst shape. Before this storm come in here, this winter storm, we had a lot of wind. My pond is full of trash and it's frozen in place. So there's no cleaning till fall, fall or I mean spring and uh, fall sets in for uh, it melts and I can uh, get the trash out of here. There's 80 something koi hiding probably somewhere under that deck. Uh, all my water situations, my flow overs are frozen. Uh, it's one way to find leaks in your pipe because everywhere there's a leak, there's a mountain of ice. And uh, there's things I've got to do. I've got two whales that take care of this pond. There's going to be a lot of changes this spring because uh, this has really been a disaster this winter. And mighty rough on my koi. There's 80 koi hiding in there. I actually, you can't see it here, but I can actually see a few swimming under there. You can't see it in this video. They are moving. But I have two whales. There's one there in that yellow thing that I put in myself many years ago. It's a four inch case and it has a four inch, uh, uh, I mean, it has a uh, submersible pump down in there, which now it's out of commission because it froze and busted up. That's the original whale house that was here many years ago. That's a board well. It's only about 55 feet deep. Uh, it's frozen out of commission. And because that's a live bed over there, my water level has dropped. It's actually an inch or so lower than it should be. Uh, you know, it's just a frozen mess. But I've been looking at a lot of this, my <laughs> aquaponic bed, which is not <laughs> any use right now. But um, all my returns, there's ice everywhere. My water level now is getting critical. I got to get it back up. No way to do it well water. We have city water, but that's a no-no. Uh, I've been looking at videos on YouTube, and I intend to take that well there and make it a airlift pump, which this would have eliminated this problem. I'd have continuous airlift using a small, uh, about an 80-watt capacity uh, airlift uh, air pump and make an airlift pump design which would give me continuous water out of that well. That well water stays at 65 degrees year round. Uh, it would not completely warm the pond back to that but it would, it would have eliminated a lot of the freezing and my water level would not be critical now. Uh, my returns, I've tried to keep everything flowing. As long as the water is, it can be below freezing, as long as it's flowing, you can resist the freeze up. And you can hear some of the gurgling and whatnot going on. Uh, that keeps everything from freezing solid and allows the gases to escape. Uh, a lot, a lot of work I got to do this way. But I am going to experiment and I'll let you know how that comes out. But I am going to put in an airlift pump in my well and eliminate this problem. Now you figure a thousand watt uh, submersible pump. Uh, it's a lot of electricity. Power is getting extremely high now. Uh, Mike mentioned the swimming pool out there. I checked out a while ago. It's got about two and a half inches of ice. You can walk on it. You can literally walk on the swimming pool. Uh, like I say, this is the worst. We've had seven days below freezing, and a few of those days were single digit zero wind chill factors, uh, as much as 15, minus 15 wind chill. Uh, pretty rough. Pretty rough. Now, just to give you an idea, everywhere water's flowing, there's little ice crystal creations. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it. Whoop, I saw fish. I tried to get one of the guy here. One of the big boys. But ice formation everywhere. I just ice. Well, I'm walking on the deck and it's just cracking. <laughs> but, uh, 
you can actually see through that. It, it might not, well, there's a reflection, you can tell more. It's, it is ice. It's clear in places where you can see through, but it is, it's, it's ice. <laughs> and a lot of it. So my work is really cut out for me this spring. When things stop falling out, I know the fish will be glad of it. But there is going to be a lot of changes. <laughs> I don't intend to get caught like this anymore. Uh, it has caused a lot of damage. Lots of pipes. Ice everywhere. It's poor fishy. I know they'll be glad to see it get above 50 again. <laughs> Alright, just to give you an idea of what I got to deal with here with my pond. There's a good picture of the ice. You can see how solid it is. Uh, I'm not going to step out there, but <laughs> it's not that solid. And poor old Peanut, she doesn't know what to think about this. She'll only come out here for a couple of minutes. Poor thing. She says, what the heck is this mess I'm walking on? <laughs> okay, that's enough for now. Thanks for watching.